Hello, Michael Hughes here, Michael Hughes Training. Training is essential, but it can also be expensive. You're taking staff off the floor, you're paying them to attend training, and you may also have to bring in bank staff or agency staff to replace some of the staff that are doing the training. And if you're paying an external trainer like me, it all adds up. If that trainer isn't any good, you've wasted your money. So how can you tell if your trainer is any good before you actually use them? Well, there's a number of things you can look at. The first is what are their credentials? Does that trainer have any form of teaching qualification? Back in the day, we nurses, we got a thing called the ENB 998, teaching and assessing in clinical practice. That's what we use on the wards. But since then, there's a range of other teaching qualifications a person can get. So, for example, somebody might have PETLs, preparing to teach in the lifelong learning sector, or some other qualification. But does the person have a teaching qualification? A general qualification is good, but that's only a starter. In some cases, the person may need a specific qualification to teach a specific subject. For example, manual handling. That's one thing where the person may have to go on a train the trainer course specifically, just for that. Another thing to look at is membership, registration. As a nurse, I'm registered with the Nursing and Midwifery Council, but somebody might have a registration or membership of some other body, some other body which has high standards and ethics. And thirdly, experience. How much experience does that person have in teaching? Now, I don't want to overstate experience because we all know from school that you can have teachers who've been doing the job for decades and they're still not very good. But chances are, if you have somebody who has been teaching for a while, then they're probably going to be better at it than somebody who's totally new. So that's three things to think about. Credentials, registration and experience. I will be making additional videos to follow on from this, but this is, this is just a starter for you. My name is Michael Hughes. If you want to get in touch, my email is info at michaelhughestraining.com. In the meantime, please subscribe, check out my other videos and keep up the good work.